Hello everyone. Welcome to Korea and Korea University. I hope you safely arrive in Korea and will be waiting for your semester to begin. Congratulations. I'm your program manager, Nam Sang Hun, and I'm sure you will have a great time during your semester, meeting new people, studying hard, experiencing Korean culture. But before that, there is a few basic steps we have to take. The first one is creating KU portal ID. Some might have done it already since we have sent an email. Let's start this session by typing the address portal.korea.ac.kr. Okay. This is the front page of Korea University portal system. You can change this page to English version by clicking English on the right upper corner. And then please click Regist Single ID. You can see three steps in total if you click the right menu. In step one, you can see the UNIF step number column. Put your student ID number of Korea University and your name exactly. The capital and small letters should also be the same. You can check them on your LOA. Below the university number, you can see four selections. However, you can only select the email verification. Then you will see the blank to write your email address. For the email address verification, write the email that you used for your application. After putting your full name and the email address, click the verification code. Now, log in to your email account and you will have received the email with the verification code. Fill the bottom blank with the code and click Confirm. Here, some of you might have had pop a message saying that your information is not available. Please check if you have written your name exactly and the right email address. If it still does not work, please change the portal in Korean language and then try one more time. For those who have typed your home university email account, there is possibility that your university firewall blocks KU's automatic email. Those who face this problem or have similar difficulty and cannot, cannot receive the verification code, please visit the Global Services Center later on. Now in single ID column, Create your ID. Small letters, numbers, hyphens and underscore are acceptable. And then click the button ID check, which is to check overlapping confirmation. If somebody else is using the ID that you want to use, the pop-up message will appear that it is not available. The second one is password. Please take your time when creating your password. This could be a little tricky since none of the letters and numbers should overlap. And the password should be minimum 8 letters and 20 letters in maximum. You have to use capital letter, small letter, number and plus signs if possible. I suggest you to create your password at least 10 letters. Most importantly, no single alphabet or numbers should overlap. For example, Hello KU 2012 will not be registered as your password because the alphabet L and number 2 have been used twice. Though this is complicated, this is to protect your personal information, so please understand this inconvenience. This could be the example of the password, Korea1905 underscore at capital letter, small letter, number and the signs are all included. 
Okay. After creating your password, type your password again in the third column for confirmation. And in password hint question and answer column, you can put your own question and answer that you can easily remember in case you forget your password. For example, you can write name of my middle school and the answer would be secret to others. You will see two blank circles at the bottom. Click the front circle. This means you agree that Korea University's collection of personal information so that you can log into other Korea University related websites such as Korea University Library and Blackboard with the same ID and password. After filling in all the columns, click Confirm. It might look like the computer is stopped or frozen when you click Confirm. Please wait a few minutes until you can see the next step. If you succeed in creating your ID and password, check them by logging in. Here you can log into our portal system. Now you're in. And check the boxes to agree to share personal information to be able to use KU's Gmail system. You will need to type your new portal ID yeah, and password again and then click confirm. It will show your information before creating your email account. At the bottom, please check the box which means you will use same portal ID password to use the email account. Next, click the green button and click confirm. When you receive a pop-up message, there will be two or three steps to create your email account. Take every boxes and click all the green or sky blue buttons. Like this. Check, check. And now you can use KU email account. Let's move on to the next part. We have to talk about your alien registration card. That's very important. Foreigners planning to stay in Korea for more than 90 days after their, after their entry must apply for alien registration card. Students with Korean nationality don't have to apply for it. The rest of you guys are legally obliged to have it. Alien registration should be done at the immigration office where the applicant's school is located. So, all the KU exchange visiting students have to visit Sejongno Immigration Office with your passport, application form, one photo, and a certificate of enrollment, certificate of residence, and a fee. The ARC will be issued within three or four weeks. The certificate of enrollment, which is 1,000 Korean won, will be distributed to you by Kuba Buddies. The photo should be color photograph of your face with front view on white background and taken within the last six months. Okay, with all the documentations, you have to go to Sezongno Immigration Office by yourself to make the ARC. Let me explain more details about the ARC application form and the certificate of residence. Please check the very first blank and don't forget to put a color photograph of your face with front view on white background and taken within the last six months. When you fill out the next part, there is a very important thing you should remember. When you write your address in Korea, you must not write KU main address. You have to write down your real address specifically. 
If you stay at KU on-campus housing, then you can write KU dormitory address. If you write KU main address or wrong address, then your application will be rejected. At the last part, there is date of application. It is the date when you visit the immigration office. Not today, nor the day you fill the form. This is the date when you visit the immigration office. So please write the exact date after you make a reservation for visiting their office. Let's move to the confirmation of residence. You can fill out the part number one by yourself. The address should be the same as the address in Korea in the application form. The part two should be completed by the person related to your housing. If you stay at on-campus, then on-campus staff can help to complete it. If you stay at off-campus, you should ask off-campus manager or owner to complete it. If you have further questions about this or need help, please come to GSC office or email to studyabroad at korea.ac.kr. You can contact us not only by email but also visiting our website or office. My colleague Yoon Hee, exchange visiting advisor at GSC, will introduce those two in another clip. And, and she also gives you additional important notice about academic administration. Thank you for listening. Enjoy your semester.